What's going on everybody? My name is The Goodish Techie and in today's video I'm going to show you how to separate some audio channels or audio tracks so you can easily edit uh, you know separate audio from gameplay videos or desktop screen share. So anyway welcome to Desktop Inception. This is the only way I know how to do this uh, because I'm not that great but I am recording right now using OBS showing you guys OBS so it's a real it's a real thing going on but let's start with settings. I'll just jump right into it. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the settings, we come here to output. <laughs> and over here in the recording tab, this is where the first part of the magic happens, right? And the audio track, you can choose how many audio tracks you want to have. I'm thinking this needs to be set to MKV uh, instead of MP4, but uh, I would always recommend MK MKV anyway to, to get these separate audio tracks. Because I'm pretty sure uh, MP4 only records one audio track. And the issue with one audio track is when you're playing a game like Star Citizen and then you're talking over it and you jump in a ship and it gets really loud with one audio track. When you go to edit the video, I'll show you here in a little bit. If my voice is quiet and the game is loud, if I go to raise the volume, it raises everything. So the game gets louder and it doesn't really mix very well. So this is the beauty of separate audio tracks. So MKV record format. Choose how many audio tracks you want. For now, I have, uh, or for mine rather, I have my desktop audio, which is my game audio, my Discord chat, aka the Goodish Gamerette, and then my voice, my magical, buttery smooth voice. So set your audio tracks here under output and settings. That is step one. Step two, you'll see down here in the audio mixer. Uh, click one of the gear icons. It doesn't matter which one. You just want to click a gear settings icon, come to advanced audio properties. This right here. This is where you map it, basically. Um, it just says properties, but basically this is where we, we do the mapping. So if you see desktop audio, I have it on track one. Can I pull up settings with it? Oh, dude, this is magical. I sure can. So let's go ahead and do this. Can I make this a successful video? Probably can. Yeah, there we go. So output recording. Here's my three tracks I've I've set up here. Desktop audio, you see I've set to track one right there. Uh gamer at mic, which is Discord, I have set to track three right there. And then me, track two. So this is how you set it up in settings as well as the actual audio mixing. So let me show you what that looks like in editing. Bam. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful site this is. Uh, so anyway, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. I don't know, um, you know, it, it's going to be different based on whatever editing software you're using, but I'm showing you DaVinci because that's what I use. If you're using DaVinci Resolve, you come down here to the Edit tab, and I'm just showing you the different audio tracks, right? So here's the video, the actual footage, and then down here, Audio 1, 2, and 3. Perfect. Now in the edit tab, you can right click and you can uncheck link clips and that's going to make it so you can select each one individually. Now, if you remember, this is getting weirder and weirder with inception here, but if you remember, uh, we have desktop, discord, and my microphone all set up on different audio tracks. So here audio track one is this one mapped here, desktop. So now in my editing software, I know if my game is quiet, uh, I can bo boost it up or boop it up, however you want to do it. If the inspector isn't open, just click inspector up here. It's under audio tab and it's the volume. So I can single handedly uh, adjust this one audio track. And then the same goes for the others. Gamerette, she's on three or discord. So three, I know uh, if she's too quiet, too loud, I can adjust the volume there. And then me. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the goodest tech. See, and then you can bring it down. In today's video, I'm gonna show and if there's background sound or music, then you can like adjust it. So that is how I, uh, I'm not, you know, okay, let me just disclaimer here. I'm not saying my way is the only way or the best way to do it. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. So that's how I set up multiple audio tracks in OBS uh, so I can easily edit and mix my videos, uh, you know, post recording. So I appreciate you guys. If you guys found the video helpful, Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'm going to keep bringing this content to you guys. I had done a community post. If you guys are this far into the video, let me just break the fourth wall. Just do some more inception here. Oh, and uh, GeForce Experience decided to show up. Great. Welcome. So I put out a um, post on my main channel, The Goodish Gamer, uh, shameless plug, but almost unanimously, 
50% one in multiple audio channels, video editing and audio editing. So this is that video. There's going to be more coming out with audio editing uh, and then video editing. And my ankle just cracked right at the end of the video. So anyway, there you have it. How to create multiple audio tracks and then how to edit ish multiple audio tracks here. We didn't get into full editing, but that's, you know, later video. So I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. So until next time, this is the Goodish Techie signing out.